All righty, welcome back everyone. Now we're gonna answer some fun stuff, right? Fundamentals of IPv4 addressing and routing. But as you know me, I wanna give you a little bit extra. All right, now before you start sending me emails, yeah, this is not, this is not exactly what's inside the book because the book says a couple things which is like, okay, no. So I just made my own guide because, I mean, I wrote a book on IPv4, IPv6. It's on Amazon. You can take a look at it. All right. So I know what we're talking about. So what we're going to talk about, why is IP addressing important? That's one of the things that the book puts in there, like two pages. I mean, seriously, but okay. We know it's important. Okay. We'll talk about that when we get there. We'll look at the format of IPv4 address. Now, for those of you that already know this, that have taken the previous CCNA, that have taken my IPv4 uh, address class and IPv6 address class and have uh, bought my, my, you've purchased my book from Amazon, you don't really need to see this portion of it unless you just want a refresher, okay? So just skip it if you, if you already know it. Classes of IPv4 address, yes, in IPv4 we have classes. How to identify the class. So you can tell it's gonna be very short, short lectures, okay? Then we're gonna get into a private range of IPv4 addresses, right? And we know there's some reserved IP addresses. I'm not gonna name them all, all right? I'm just gonna do a couple, so you know that those are the ones. Then how to assign an IPv4 address to a host router, to a host or router's interface. I'm also gonna throw a switch in there, all right? Just so you can see how to do it, all right? Even though we haven't gotten to the CLI portion of the course yet, but it's not that difficult, okay? And then the subnet mask is the key. And this is what I've been saying for what, 15 years now, 18 years? The subnet mask is the key to everything. This, this is why I put a happy face. Look at it right there. I put a happy face right there. You know how I always call it dotted decimal addressing because it's 255, 205, 205, zero, whatever. Well, now they call it Gideon, dotted decimal numbering. I doubt it that that's going to be on the certification, that if you know what that means, but just in case, okay? So CIDR and dotted decimal, I'll try to go back and forth, okay? So it makes it easy to go ahead and subnet or do anything. Then we get into IPv4 subnetting. We're going to do classful subnetting. Why classful subnetting? Because later on, we're going to be doing VLSM, which is classless subnetting. IPv4 routing. How does routing table, how does the routing table get built? I'm not even gonna say anything. Routing, uh, and, and this portion of routing is basically, you know, we're gonna talk about the ARP protocol, address resolution protocol. I already mentioned that already. We're gonna do the, do default routes, and we're gonna do static routes. Is that in your book? No, but we're gonna do it anyway because it's that simple. All right, and then we're gonna talk about we're going to talk about when I get into deep discussion of it, all right? Maybe later on, in, because there's an actual section on RIP version 2, believe it or not. All right, writing protocols, RIP version 2. Well, I'll tell you more or less what it is. EIGRP, OSPF, and BGP. These three are not in the book, but I'm going to tell you about it anyway, because you're going to need to know it, and then it'll just be, you know, a stepping stone to when you get to ICND2. Uh or you get to your company and they're running EIGRP. Yeah, but I'm a CSTAN and I don't know what EIGRP is. Really? All right, so you need to know what EIGRP is, okay? And you need to know what OSPF and BGP. We will be probably getting in, be getting into BGP, all right? So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. Just mention things that it does and stuff like that, all right? So this is what we're gonna go over. So I hope you're ready. It's not gonna be that long, uh, but you need to know it because without IP, if you don't know IP, you can't network, okay? Even though everything is pretty much automized out there in the real world, you need to know the subject. If somebody asks you a question, you need to be able to answer it like that. I've always said it. I want you to be able to convert in 30 seconds. I want you to be able to subnet in 30 seconds or less. You should be able to do that. It's not that difficult. With IPv6, it may take a little bit longer. But with IPv4, new. No. all right? So with that said, I'll see you in the next.